Right, good morning everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. So it's Thursday. Um, I've been up this morning um, doing a little bit of editing and stuff for YouTube. Sorry the lighting's really weird this morning because like the sun's out and then it keeps raining and being weird. Today I'm just about to head off to uni. I've got a lecture um, for my dissertation module and um, we have like very sporadic sort of lectures for my dis module and um, they give you uh, give us like a couple of tips or like stuff we need to include in different sections of our dissertation so so far we've had the introduction referencing conclude at uh, conclusion discussion results and everything and now i think today's lecture is going to be on the poster that we have to produce so for my course i know some courses do this some courses don't a lot of science courses do this i believe like bachelor of science courses because I know Megan and Hattie are doing that for their psychology and I know us forensics are doing it as well so basically after we submit our dissertation a few weeks later like after Easter we're going to have to present a poster about our dissertation so including like basically summarising our dissertation on a huge A1 poster A2 I don't know the size of it and then we have to present it in like a conference style of thing so all of our lecturers will walk around and ask us questions about our dissertation and obviously the more confident and like aware and know our dissertation um, then obviously the more marks I'm going to get and stuff with that like, communication skill so I think that's what today's lecture is going to be on and then we ha I have a little bit of a break and then I have a lecture later for my forensic application of biological specialisms module I'm actually not too sure about what it's on I think it will probably be some sort of genetics thing which is annoying because I don't like genetics <laughs> yeah I've got to do what we got to do me and Neva are going to probably do something in between our lectures as well so I'll make sure to take the vlog camera out and show you also got a cute little package this morning from we love lashes on Instagram they sent over this is their handle and everything and um, they sent over some lashes which are amazing so um i've got a false lashes applicator which i've never actually tried anything like this before like actually using an applicator to put my eyelashes on when obviously i'm not soon i'm not gonna be able to get my lash extensions that i have on because they're expensive <laughs> and then they've sent over some ardell goodies which is amazing because ardell are like one of the most popular lash brands like in my opinion and um, so they've sent over an adhesive which I've heard good things about and then they've sent over a set of their wispies and then a set of their foam ink um, lashes too so I'm really excited because everyone raves about the demi wispies and I've tried them before because I think Megan had some um, a couple years ago and I really like them so I'm very excited to give these a go um, and if you want 10% off enter lash 10 at the checkout yeah so yeah thank you very much to We Love Lashes for these and I'm gonna head off to uni me and Neve have come for a mid lecture roast. <laughs> we've both gone, we've both got a veggie roast. <laughs> Neve's gone for a lot of stuff in, I've gone for loads of potatoes. <laughs> both got two Yorkshire puddings because we didn't get meat, um, which I think is actually a win. And it's also a lot cheaper, so yay! <laughs> so I am back from uni and thought I'd quickly show you this little surprise parcel I got from Pixie. They've sent me over their new Hydrating Milky collection. It's a load of new skincare products. So we've got six steps. Remove, cleanse, peel, tone, treat, moisturise. So we've got the Hydrating Milky Makeup Remover, Milky Cleanser, Milky Peel, then the Milky Tonic, Hydrating Milky Serum, and then the Milky Lotion. So I'm very excited to try all of those out and they've come in such cute little box. It's all recyclable as well, like every bit of the packaging was recyclable. So I was like, massive thumbs up to Pixie for that. I had some pretty good news in, resp in response to some collaborations coming up. So really happy about that. And then finally, I am randomly, spontaneously meeting up with Alice today. So she's coming, Alice Thorpe. Um, some of you guys might know her because you might have watched her Lincoln journey, but she also went to, to the University of Lincoln and she graduated two years ago. She's coming down to Lincoln um, for something she's doing tonight. She just asked if I wanted to meet up with her to, for a little catch up for a couple of hours or an hour or a bit. So yeah, I'm going to go meet Alice, have a little coffee and a little catch up, a little chat 
Um, and then hopefully I think I'm going to go to the library and just sit in there and do some work for a couple of hours because Hattie's going to be out and then I thought we could walk home together so it will force me to stay out and do some of my disc work in the library for a little bit of the evening. It's 20 to 5 now so I'm just going to quickly sort my face out and then head off to meet Alice. Yay, I'm really excited. I haven't seen Alice since winter in the city. So I just went to Cafe Nero and had a little catch up with Alice, which is really lovely, like just catching up on life. And she is just an absolute gem and I always love talking to her about life because she just gets me, you know, and we have very similar like opinions on stuff. I really hope that I get to see her properly again soon, longer than like an hour or whatever. I'm just being quiet because I'm in the library and I'm here on my own. I'm going to stay here for the next three hours, I think. I'm currently doing my discussion section looking at the author comparisons and i'm like just basically talking about whether my results are significant and from what i have calculated my results are significant but i've also just found a whole article what is this weird rash on my neck um i've just found an article that opposes my results so i guess that's kind of a good thing to talk about even though it's not really helping the cause um, but it's just, again, something else to discuss and sort of have the opposite side and opinion. So let's get, let's get writing. I'm hoping I hit, um, a good number of words today. Like I say, I always do 200, but today I've hit 250, I think. So I'd really, ideally like to get 500 done. It's almost nine o'clock, so I've been in here for about three hours. Um, but I've managed to do 600 more words of my dissertation, which is insane. I'm really proud of myself. I've felt really focused this evening. I'm usually a lot more productive in the evenings, though. Like, you might have noticed that I do a lot more work in the evenings than I do in the mornings. Like, I'd rather have a chill morning, early afternoon, and then crack on with work a little bit later. Morning, everyone. It is an awful day. It's literally raining so much outside. Ew. Um, I'm just um, about to wrap up some Depop parcels. I thought I'd quickly show you like what I do. So if you didn't know, I sell some of my old, unused, unwanted clothes on Depop. I basically have too many clothes, so I would rather them go to like nice new homes rather than chucking them away. And, you know, I just want other people to love and use them so i put lots of stuff on my depop all the time i will leave my depop on screen and it's always down below i literally have added tons more things the other night um and i'm always open to like offers and anything because i just want them to go to better homes <laughs> so i'm just about to wrap up some depop parcels i order these bags from amazon i would definitely order some more eco-friendly packaging if I have the funds right now um but yeah so i get these like pink um packages and then then i also buy these labels from wilco they're adhesive labels and everything so i just get them from there because they're like a pound 400 or something so it's pretty good I was also going to say, if you are wondering whether to sell on Depop, it's literally so, so easy to like upload stuff and sell on there in comparison to eBay. eBay is a lot more long winded. It's still pretty simple, but I definitely recommend Depop, especially if you've got like current trending items as well. Like Depop is a good way for like people with a similar age to like find your stuff, if you know what I mean. Um, and you can also like hashtag and things so that more people can see your stuff. And I always like promote my Depop on my Instagram as well, which helps to obviously gauge a little bit more exposure to my Depop page um, and if any of you guys want to check it out I'll leave them down below I think I'm going to do a deal this weekend where I'm selling like three items for £12 so um, yeah if you want to get involved in that definitely check out my Depop um, I just want everything to go to better homes right so sorry I haven't updated you guys in a while I have been doing lots of mooching around my room not really doing much today I've replied to a lot of emails done a lot of admin stuff and then I have also done a few interviews and things for different people's like dissertation work and projects they've got going on at uni and I just really wanted to help people out like I hate letting people down and I want to help people who are also doing projects where they're struggling to find people because I know how hard it is now especially now that I've been like doing my dissertation and stuff um but 
yeah, I've just been doing lots of emails and stuff and I've just finished filming half of my Nasty Gal haul. I've just gone through all the pieces. I now need to do the try on clips, but I think I'm gonna go make some dinner because Hat's downstairs making some food. It's just me and Hat this weekend, so we should get up to some nice fun things like last weekend as well. I'm very excited. I'm gonna go make a veggie stir fry, I think. I've got my corn chicken pieces, which I've really been loving. I'm gonna go downstairs with you now. Um, I've got some, I've had some corn chicken pieces that I've really been enjoying. Um, and then the Chinese stir fry sauce that Tesco do. I really like that. And then I've got some like vegetables, like bean sprouts and stuff in like a little bag. And then the Singapore noodles that, um, Tesco do so yeah that's what I'm gonna make now I don't know what Hat's making what are you making Hat? she's making a spaghetti carbonara we're gonna we're treating ourselves tomorrow aren't we we're gonna get a takeaway tomorrow when Hat's brother comes down and visits us yeah yeah that's fine I'm happy with anything no I'm happy with whatever yeah, I was just saying we we've got the weekend to ourselves, so hopefully we'll do some fun. <laughs> so me and Hat have decided to go on a little spontaneous evening out. We're going for a couple of cocktails just to get out, have a little bit of fun. Do you want to do your little outfit of the day, outfit of the night? It's amazing. It's got loads of like pretty little gyms on. I like it because it's also, I like it's really comfy. And then heels from? The heels are from New Look, I've got them in sale as well. And amazing. I like them because they're comfy and small. Amazing. And the jewellery. Oh, jewellery. It's a made myself. <laughs> All hats, jewels. <laughs> Um, and then I've got Primark heels, uh, the most comfy heels ever, and they're amazing. Then I've got this new suit on from Nasty Gal, which is from the Duke Josephine collection, which is amazing. And then Nasty Gal earrings too. Woohoo! We're going. So we decided to come to craft first. And for some reason, on a Friday night, it's two for ten on cocktails in here, and I really didn't expect that at all. Yeah, and it's literally only on Friday night, four to nine. And we were like, yes. We're so glad we came out early because otherwise we would have got it. What did you go for? Kiss from a rose. <laughs> and it looks so cute. And it and tastes last... like melted parma violets. Amazing. And then I went for the Frenchie. It's got like vanilla -y raspberry stuffing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited. I know, I'm so excited. <laughs> Me and Hat are now home. Um, we only went out for like a few drinks just to get out, you know, do something a bit different. And we just watched Bugsy Malone. It's one of my favourite musicals. And I haven't watched that in absolute ages and I really love it. And I'll say to her, it makes me really sad that my kids are probably never going to want to watch it because the quality is so bad because it's such an old film. Um, so I really want to see it remade or like brought to theatres again. And it'll just make my life. But I actually performed in Bugsy Malone when I used to do lots of like theatre stuff growing up and we've been invited back because they're um creating it again like 10 years later so me and her are gonna go watch my old theatre groups Bugsy Malone which will be fun at the end of March so that'll be something fun to look forward to I'm sure I'll probably vlog when we go back home to my um town that weekend um yeah we're just gonna sit and chill and cuddle Right, so I actually did end this vlog yesterday, but um, everything just keeps going wrong in my life on this fine Saturday. Yeah, I'm filming on my phone because my camera's just broken. Love that for me. I have no spare cameras because student life, I don't have the money to buy a new one. So I'm trying to my hardest to fix it, but ready? Ready for this? brilliant not what I needed when I had stuff to film today and I've got stuff to film through the week so that's not great I've been in agony for three hours because I started my period today and all of my excruciating period pains are back because I'm not on I'm like changing contraception and stuff so in absolute agony I was almost throwing up in the toilet I was going dizzy I was faint, almost fainting Hat had to give me some of her sulpidine and I've just been in distress like literally tossing and turning in bed trying to relieve the pain I've actually got some of the BU pads on um that I usually use and I, that's finally helped it now I think 
Um, but yeah, so I've been in absolute agony. I have actually had a really cool parcel just arrive. So I'm going to show you some of these parcels. Um, so I've got a nice little package from Philip Kingsley. So Philip Kingsley are a high-end hair care brand that I've heard incredible things about. I've tried a couple of their like mini samples before from like Glossy Box and like other um beauty subscription things but i've never tried like full size products or had any of myself um and they've kindly sent over so many amazing things through stature pr um so they've sent over some products for my hair i sent that sorry for the bad angles and everything this camera situation is not great but yeah i just said that i had like dry damaged hair because obviously i've started bleaching it the past year so that's the sort of guide i gave them when i told them about my products and they've like curated a package perfectly for like dry damaged hair so i'm going to give you guys updates they haven't told me to share this by the way i just thought i would because there are some incredible things here so they've sent me a daily damage defense leaving conditioner which i'm very excited about we've got the moisture balancing um combination shampoo and the moisture balancing combination conditioner which are specific for my hair type then we've got a stimulating scalp toner which i've not heard of anything like this before and i'm definitely intrigued to see if it's any good should be used daily on a dry or damp scalp for maximum benefit so yeah very intrigued to see if this is any good it says that it en energizes the scalp to encourage optimum hair health um, we've got a finishing touch flexible hold mist, which is a nice little hairspray that doesn't make your hair all crisp and gross. Then we've got a shampoo and conditioner, the re-moisturizing range. Got a one more day refreshing dry shampoo bottle. It's actually pretty big and I've literally just run out of my dry shampoo yesterday. So I was like, that is perfect timing. And then this, which is their most famous product called the Elasticizer. And it's their deep conditioning treatment. So keep this in for a while. It came with like a little um, shower cap as well in here here so you can like sort of keep the conditioning treatment on whilst you're in the shower for however long it says i think yeah 10 to 20 minutes so um you can obviously keep it out or inside the shower whatever and then they kindly sent me another little gift they sent a little hairbrush to go alongside it it says it's a paddle brush for gentle grooming and drying for longer length hair which is great needed a new paddle brush and it's wooden it's really pretty as well so very excited about that so thank you very much to philip kingsley for sending all those goodies over um i will let you guys know if they are worth it because they are obviously a little bit pricier than your average hair care products but i do find if you do spend that bit more money on hair stuff you can definitely tell the difference and um, but i've heard some amazing things about this online so i'm hoping it's just as good then i'll show you some other products i've quickly got before i say goodbye sorry i've tried to prop you up on this little box thing because i'm having a nightmare with life um but i had a package from bu which are what i was just talking about the period pads so these are the patches i've bought these since so i got gifted these last year and then i loved them i've never ever found anything that would cure my period pains so quickly and reliably than these and i thought i was so skeptical when i tried these out for the first time because i was like are they gonna work and then i was like oh my god they've literally changed my life so i started buying these and then they've kindly sent me some more to keep me stocked up and they're all natural ingredients they apparently it can apparently last for up to 12 hours which would be ideal if that does work but i've never had them on for that long to like properly test that feature out um and they are very discreet they're literally a plaster i've got one on now i don't really want to show you because i just feel a bit bloated and grim you know them period feels um but they're li it's literally a plaster and it smells of menthol and it literally just gets rid of my period pains and i don't know how it works i don't really get it but it works so that's why i keep these in my life they're amazing you get i think five yeah five in a pack and then i like sort of use them for emergencies when i have really bad period pains it's i usually only have really bad days like once or twice um every time i come on so i save them for those days then they've actually sent me some of their new range because they've brought out some amazing stuff for women's health the note is so cute it says please find enclosed a selection of hero products from women's health brand bu bu are championing women's hormone health creating natural products that work while educating society to appreciate all that is natural about women with an all-natural range bu are determined to create effective products for women using only the highest quality ingredients nourishing the body whilst being kind to the planet so they sent the, their um hero products as well so we've got the bu pad free periods menstrual cup which i'm very scared to try i will let you know if i do use this but i know a lot of people online do and say that they literally swear by it and don't go back so i'm um, i really want to because i know obviously how bad sanitary products can be for the planet and whilst it's obviously not our gal's fault that we have periods it would be nice to obviously stop disposing so many 
pads into the environment you know so i will try this but i don't know how i'm gonna cope because if you know me and you've been watching me for a while you'll know that i faint every time i try tampons so this might not go well but you know i will give it a go i promise and um, for the sake of the planet um and then they've sent the menstrual um cup foaming cleanser to go alongside that and then we've got the bu chafe free living so they've sent a chafe anti-chafing cream always handy when you've got chunky thighs and then they've sent a sleep pillow mist as well so thank you very much to bu for those and then finally i've got some beautiful products from lola's lashes they've sent over um their new uh, magnetic lashes so this is a black liquid magnetic eyeliner you put the eyeliner on and then once it once it goes tacky apparently these lashes magnetize onto the eyeliner and i'm so intrigued to see if this works maybe i'll try it in a, a vlog during the week or something but i'm, I'm gonna give these a go and then i've got the oil which helps get the liner off and everything thank you very much for watching this vlog i really hope you have enjoyed i'm hoping to have some really good main channel videos coming this week i've got three really cool ones planned some of it some of it different than usual I've got a fashion challenge i've got a what i spend in a week coming up um, and then I've got my March Nasty Gal haul coming very soon. So yeah, I really hope you stick around. Thank you very much for being so lovely and kind. I really appreciate it. And I will see you very soon for a brand new vlog. And all pray for me that my camera gets fixed. Bye. <laughs>